is it isn't bad that the uh, other little parts that are in the way and things like that it's very very difficult to get in very time consuming as you can see here you can take two parts off pull this all at once keeping an eye on the washers which is something that I show in the DVD I cover fully servicing these uh, carburetors on the repair and lawnmowers for profit DVD which is available at eBay but um, just to show you quickly just to take this off that's everything out of the way and even if you want to take this engine cover off just uh, just so you can get in I'm going to do the, the, uh, the starter rope on this, I'm going to change that as well so I'll take this off, we'll change that off as well um, and all of this, as I've mentioned before, it's all covered in the repair mode, most for profit DVD. You know, changing the starter rope, replacing the diaphragm and gasket. The full service things are covered. These videos, just to give you an idea, really, of just how quickly it is just to take everything off um, and get started repairing these for profit, really. So, the idea of this video is just really to say that if you're going to start with something, try and get a, try and get a lawnmower like this, a Briggs and Stratton one, with a drive in a box. And let's not forget, this was only thirty pounds. It's only going to take me around about uh, an hour, maybe an hour and a half to service it up. I'm hoping it'll go for around £100, so it might even go for a little bit more, but you know, you never know. But you, you want it to go and you want it to be right and you don't want any returns. So we'll do that. I'm taking everything off, carburetor, petrol tank, air filter, engine cover, everything's out of the way. And you can see where you want to be now. You can set the diaphragm, uh, sorry, you can change the diaphragm and gasket. You can set this magneto, you can remove any dirt from around here. Especially in the back of here, there's a little uh, a guard here, like a heat shield guard. You want to be careful with this because it's easy to bend them, but just have a look down the back, down this side of here, make sure no grass gets in. Because this is the only form it's got of cooling itself down with these little cooling fins on the engine block. If that's all covered with mud and grass and things like that, then it's not going to run properly and it'll overheat and you'll have, uh, you'll have big problems. So, this is uh, not looking too bad, everything's okay really, I'm just looking for massive holes, sometimes it, these are little parts have cracks in along the top, just have a good look round, make sure the springs are in good order, you don't need to take these springs off, you might notice when I took this uh, petrol tank off, you can actually leave all this in place and just hook it back together with this, this one linkage that's in here, you see this little linkage here, you just leave it there, it's, uh, it all stays together, all the springs stay on, you just pop that linkage back on the carburetor, when you're done. So the next thing I want to do is have a clean around these parts. Just use some of this uh, this ultra gunk is quite good. I'm going to spray all this on here. Have a good clean around in here while I've got this tank and carburetor off. Just uh, give it a good tidy up. Make sure there's no no dirt and grease and grime left over. Very cheap. I mean this lasts ages just for doing jobs like this. And I've just got a roll of uh, just a roll of blue cloth. I might even just get some uh, a brush on it and just clean it off. A little bit like that. So very very simple just to take this apart and uh, basically just start servicing it up. And well you've got this petrol tank drained off as you can see there's nothing in it. We did this in the garden we got rid of all the petrol and all the oil. Take a good look inside and you're particularly looking in here to make sure there's no rust as you can see this is nice and clean at the bottom. You still see good metal. If you see any rust or anything floating about in it you're going to have problems when it picks it up through this carburetor here. So make sure there's no rust in the bottom, nothing floating about, particularly no water. And make sure all these parts are clean as, uh, as you're going to take this off, you don't want any dirt going on the inside. So we'll make sure that this is all clean. And then we'll take these uh, these six Phillips screws out and we'll put a new diaphragm and gasket in there. Just while I'm filming this, I just uh, I use my compressor. I'm not, people have been asking what type it is. It's only a little compressor. It's just a Wolf, uh, a Wolf Air. It's only a small compressor. I'm not sure if it's about 25 litres or 25. Yeah, there it says 24 litres. Um, CFM is 9.5. The air displacement on it, so it's not massively powerful. It's not really good enough to do the uh, the air tools, but it's. Um, it's plenty powerful enough just for cleaning bits of carburetor off, like round here. As I just said, I was going to clean this up. I've just given it a quick, uh, just a quick blast over with the compressor just to set the bits off from the outside. I didn't really want to do it in the parts wash; it wasn't too bad. But yeah, if, if you're doing alright and you're starting to repair these for profit and you're looking to buy a piece of kit, these are really handy, especially for cleaning these carburetors out. Just getting in and around and just cleaning parts off like this, it's uh, definitely a worthwhile investment in the long term. So here's a really good example of a really bad diaphragm and gasket as you can see here this is so wrinkled up even these little tabs have to fit on the top of the carburetor nothing's flat at all it's absolutely gone it's uh, as bad as I've ever seen is that one to be honest it's all buckled up it's wrinkled even that part's you know it's just all over the place this little part here where the spring vibrates again if there's nothing there I mean it's completely had it as that so just thought I'd show you that if you pick one off with a, a diaphragm and gasket as bad as that you know that 
really that's definitely going to be the cause of it not running properly so we'll take that one off and I'm going to clean these pickup tubes out I've shown in a previous video that these tubes actually pull out and you can clean them out with some carb spray and blow them through the compressor including there's one under here you can actually get this uh, main jet out of here as well and clean that off so I'm going to do that now give this a good clean up and put a diaphragm and gasket on another thing to mention as well is make sure you're clean in here because uh, these little holes in here these are always quite bad you can just see in there as well that's absolutely filthy in there that wants a good clean out these little tabs that I was showing you they've got to fit over all these parts of this uh, onto this petrol tank and if it doesn't all fit together properly it won't supply the uh, it won't supply the fuel properly to the engine so make sure everything's clean and the uh, the diaphragm and gasket is good you put some carb spray through make sure these these filter tips are particularly clean make sure you can see through them obviously be careful there's no petrol in there when you do that you need to be able to see through a tiny little hole at the end um, I'm going to do that now we'll put this back together and put it back on so there we go I've serviced the carburetor and put this all back together just make sure this uh, governor flaps moving nice and evenly as well when you get it back together make sure that the, uh, the linkages are back down and all the springs are moving just one tip before you put it back together now the other thing I was going to uh, get a cover for us this kill switch at the back another thing to know here just when you if you go up to the top here and just pull this you can actually see that that moves away nicely from there and then you get a good connection on this little tab at the top just uh, just make sure that's working when you do that this little tab sometimes on the top of here this just wants bending down a little bit so you get a connection that's what actually stops the most if you've got a lawnmower that won't stop it's because that tab's either got dirt underneath it or it needs bending down or if it won't start, sometimes it's because it doesn't uh, dis disengage this kill switch there. But anyway, I was looking for a part and I've just got uh, a few tubfuls of bits as I've always kept. So I've actually managed to find a, a cover here as well. This should actually go on here on this kill switch. This little cut out here at the back, just there, that just fits in that little groove there. It just pushes on. I'll find a screw to put through the back of there. And that just tidies the back of this up. It also covers just some of this mess up under here as well, which I will uh, give a paint. So I actually just use this metal paint up here, this, uh, this hammered black I actually use, I'm going to use on the edge of here because it matches up with this, uh, this mount field paint on the bottom of me. It's quite a good match actually and the other, the other smooth black paint I'll just get on and I'll just put some on the back of there as well. I'm just painting that up, I'm just tidying all that up. So I'll find a part here and we'll put that back together. I'm just going to put this cover back on here now, back over this kill switch. Just saves uh, any, any dirt getting in there. Of course it should always be on. You know, there's a, there's a reason for all the parts that are on the machine. Don't ever try and leave anything off, because they all do have a function. Um, and that one, of course, is just to protect. Obviously, there's an electrical wiring under there. But uh, also, there's a switch that wants to be kept clean. We'll put that on, and that's nice and tidy. And just, um, everything helps. Just these little bits of painting things up and putting these little spare parts on that you've kept. It all adds to the appearance of the llama when you come to sell it. Even when I was, you know, just washing it off outside, it's... Uh, this Mountfield badge came off the front and you think well I won't bother but you know when people look at the listing that I'm going to do for eBay they'll look and the first thing they'll see want to know is what make it is and what engine it's got if they're you know, thinking of parting with quite a lot of money so all you need to do is get yourself some uh, some spray and just put this back on we'll just glue this back on at the end so every little bit that you can keep that might add to the overall profit of it certainly do it you know if you get a chance to do it it's um, unless it's an absolute you know going to the tip type lawnmower you're just going to throw on and get a few pounds for you know try and take an hour an hour and a half to tidy up because you will get it back in uh, in profit in the end i'm just going to change this uh, this starter up as i said i was going to do on this uh, this cover here you can see in here there's two actual plastic like i think they're called poles that just click out like that and they connect into the top of the engine to make the engine turn and as you can see they pop out but if you've got a mower that pulls straight back and you think it's not got any compression but just because it's basically like pulling it now and you think oh the compression is not compression in that one but it must be broken sometimes it's because these plastic parts don't pop out and they don't turn the engine so you just need to spray with a little bit of WD-40 or something to free them off because if they're not popping out as, as they are there you see the little white bits there then it won't turn you'll think you've got a lawnmower with no compression actually it just needs a, a little bit of servicing in here so I'm going to take this off and I'm going to change this as well I've got me uh, shining a new pull cord here. I actually got this given last time I picked a mower up. Someone said, oh, there's a, a new pull cord with it there. A new handle with it and everything. So that was very nice. Thought I'd use that seeing as the, uh, the ends were already burnt for me to pull through. I've actually got, I can actually buy reels of it here. I've actually got a full reel of it there. It's only about £10 for all that. It'll probably last forever. Um, so that's on. 
this is all back together. Another thing to note when you put this uh, the engine cover back on is make sure you don't trap this uh, this lead here, the spark plug lead. Make sure it goes in this little cutout here. There's actually a little cutout there. It just notches and make sure it goes in there, otherwise you'll trap it between the engine cover 